My name is Adrian Tomlin. I'm a partner at Withers and Rogers. I head up our life sciences and chemistry group, as well as our German office. So if the IP is essentially created by the computer, the question is who owns that IP? The problem really comes down to with the patent system, there needs to be an inventor. An inventor at the moment needs to be an individual or a group of individuals. So with a computer, the question is who is the individual that managed to get that invention to happen? With respect to the use of artificial intelligence in drug discovery, the question is whether the IP associated with that can be captured. In order to answer that question, you need to split the uh, kind of technology, the AI technology, into three subgroups. The first group being the core AI. So this will be the software, the algorithms, and that's going to be difficult to protect. They're basically mathematical methods, and mathematical methods are not patentable before the major patent offices. So what we would generally recommend is you keep that core stuff secret downside to that is nobody knows this technology. Nobody can understand that technology and then improve on it. So it's kind of bad to keep it secret. People want this to be disclosed. So there is a move within the community to try and find a way to provide some degree of protection for this core AI technology so that it can be disclosed and that people can improve on it. The second area is actually how the actual AI method is actually used to solve a technical problem or provide a technical solution. An AI method to identify a drug candidate that binds to receptor X. That potentially can be patentable before the patent offices. It's going to be a question about how big a scope of protection you're going to get. It might be relatively narrow. And the other problem that's going to come up is actually to demonstrate if anybody's infringing it how to prove that somebody's actually using that method. It's quite hard to do, so it's of questionable value even if you were to get those claims granted. And the third part is the actual output of the AI method, so it be the drug candidate that's been identified or the biomolecular profile that's been identified. Those aspects can definitely be patented, and that's why I'd recommend most money and investment is put into patenting those aspects of it. So it's relatively simple at the moment. However, things are going to change going forward with respect to AI and how you protect aspects of it. So we need to keep an eye on this and we need to keep going back and making sure that the strategy is right.